I just wanted to show you something that uh, it's worth keeping an eye out for just free good wood, barn wood even. And there's a guy on this farm. He's uh, tearing down a lot of this stuff. He's even going to tear down this barn this winter. And then these three right here. And he said, uh, I can just take as much as I want. So this is amazing. I mean, just look around this little hog shed. I mean, of that rustic stuff, of course. Just this nice old barn wood for free. I know some people sell this, but you, you just be patient enough and look around and you'll find this stuff. This is just so awesome. <laughs> nice little play, play place, I guess. But this is going to help me with my projects at in, in my $5,000 house to uh, hopefully I'll get enough material to finish the interior of the main house and if I get enough stuff here and also the uh, the tiny house shed that I wasn't able to finish on the roof or on the ceiling part and then other little projects around the uh, living space the garage living space so I just had a lot of uh, material that I needed and this is going to help me finish it off it's going to be hard work to get it but uh Gosh, you just you just can't beat the free times, free uh, opportunities. So my brother's gonna be here in a little bit, and he's probably gonna explain what he's gonna do with his wood. This is what I got. extreme budget. This is what I got on my second load and I kept thinking oh man are you kidding me this stuff for free I have so much material material now to do a lot of things in my house just even these I mean this is the old uh, poly flooring or sub uh, joists and I just got a lot of this stuff Two by sixes, probably actual two by sixes, and a lot of that. Man, incredible! So, he also let me take whatever else I see, and I liked this just because it was a rustic but also functional. <laughs> I love that, and then I'll probably clean this up. Um, put some polyurethane or something on it. Put it in my garage living space for something. I'll use that as well. So, and I'm probably going to go for another load tomorrow. And I want to get as much as I possibly can just so I have enough to work with. And when I'm done, I could still you know, still sell some of it for cheap. Let me just show you. Legitimate barn door things. I thought that was awesome. He had this in a burn pile. So he was just gonna, just gonna get in that, a lot of these uh, gates and stuff. I wanted to get more of this, but this is so hard to get off of there, but I had to do it. This looks beautiful. This is what they replicate in stores. Exactly that. Uh, every time I share these things on my channel, I know not everybody likes to do this type of thing because you do have to 
wait around for situations like this because you just want to get something done but uh, you know if you don't have very much very very much money there are ways of doing it and this is I don't know how much worth of wood there is here I mean let alone barn wood some of it live edge stuff uh, my brother got some of that that was beautiful stuff so just all for you know just the labor of it but you're patient enough you can get get what you want well, I've shared in previous uh, episodes that I wanted to do more up here and I've been debating that back and forth uh, my plans doing something in the rafters um, I may be putting boards like this I just like little places to go to like crawl and find a little bed up there or something I don't know I just love that idea and then kids could be up there I could put it kind of like a catwalk so with a railing on each side I just love that idea I mean, I could still keep it kind of open but now that I have that wood I could kind of go forward with all of that and that little cupboard thing that I was showed you that uh, old one I could probably put up on the side here just to debate it what I want to do but it just matches everything else so finally feel like I could uh, move forward with something it's exciting so this is inside my main house and I've been collecting materials for inside here as well and I still have my old door I was gonna work with and so even the wood that I'm getting from the guy and I'll get more of it tomorrow but there is floor joists that are stronger than even the modern stuff we've got so and plenty of it and that would have been expensive to be able to span this whole whole way so I'm gonna try to get a lot of that and I think I'll have it covered this whole floor at least as far as the floor joists and have it super strong before they had I don't know if you've seen in the previous episodes but they had two befores just like that that were going across there and it and it was kind of like in a little grid <laughs> pattern but we had a like a 400 pound cast iron toilet uh, I mean a, a tub and then a toilet and when you walked on it it was just bowing like that and they said my neighbors the previous couple previous owners before said that when they sat on the toilet it just wobbled and I'm like oh my gosh there's no way I can keep it like that so that's the reason why I have this tore out there's no way but this is all I have to work with and I do have stuff in here because uh, I don't have a garage anymore so it's kind of moving in here but as I am figuring it this out during the summer especially the the foundation um it's being encouraging it, it, it's getting encouraging just to see uh what i could do now with the materials and i don't know if i'll get enough materials for the walls and everything but maybe an accent wall with the barn wood and i'm getting matching wood that goes right along with what's already here so <coughs> i don't have to mix and match modern with old stuff so that is also another encouraging thing so this is kind of the update on where i'm at with this um so i'll have to tell you what i'm gonna try to do this turned into a big question of what i'm gonna do um because i have to have this stuff out it's turned into a uh, garage storage place and i don't want to be one of those people that gives up on it and then it just stays like this for years <laughs> I can't stand that so what I decided that I'm going to do if I can do it is I'm gonna get myself one of those 20 foot shipping containers and a lot of people are like those things because they have um, you could do a lot with them storage of course but you could also make a home out of it and my driveway is big enough that it'll just go right there and uh, all my stuff it'll be my shop garage storage all the stuff that that that's in the main house and the other benefit is 
Um, I'm not able to park my car under these trees because stuff falls from it. Whenever there's a storm, there's always something that falls from it. And I had one fall on my car and dent it. And that's one of the th benefits from a shipping container, having it right there. I don't have to worry about that. It'll take anything. Um, also, as I'm working on it, or working on it and everything, I could start to convert that shipping container into a home. So if I build a carport that's detachable, I could put it inside the shipping container. And then once I find a way to ship it down to my next property, then I'll, I'll have that shipping container as, as my next home. So it'll all just kind of be bundled up in, into that. So that's my next thing. Keep everything cleaned up around here. I know I'm gathering a lot of materials. I have to get rid of some things too. But um, this is just how it goes. I mean, you, you have so many projects at once. and um, But you kind of clean you as you go. And then you, you work on things as you go. And you have to go through that whole process. So this is what it looks like when you're... You know, get a crappy house and you get your living space ready and you got to gather material when you can get it. And so that's what it's going to look like. <laughs> it's pretty awesome though. You could see the results of what I'm doing with material. So it's not just gathering stuff that I don't need. So first example this example then my main house is going to look super super awesome decided to do a little more organizing separating out and cleaning up i tell you it gets pretty hard sometimes when you're trying to do this stuff collect the stuff when it's available and you could easily get overwhelmed and sometimes i wake up and i'm like i just don't want to do that and but if I don't it's just gonna pile up I have to dedicate a certain amount of days just to get it organized so that's what I'm doing now I've been having to learn that lesson over and over again as I'm trying to collect materials and not get overwhelmed with projects but I could not pass up this abundance of gates and um barn style stuff.